Time in five days, Metro Police are now investigating a shooting involving a child. And this time, police are telling us a 15-year-old showed up at Community Hospital East after he'd been accidentally shot this morning. Yeah, it's all part of a troubling trend that's being seen at many hospitals. School shooting victims, or rather just shooting victims, getting younger. Our Jenny Runovich is at Riley Hospital tonight. Well, over the past six years, Riley Hospital, a level one pediatric trauma center, has treated 229 children for gunshot wounds. Sobering statistics with lasting impacts. Instead of enjoying summer break, an increasing number of children are hurting in the hospital with gunshot wounds. Indianapolis kids and teens. Yes, yeah, those are bullet holes. Wheeled into the ER, their small bodies broken by bullets. Emotional scars just as damaging. The trauma and psychological team at Riley sees it daily. Effects on sleep, effects on school, thinking about um, the legal involvement that oftentimes follows tremendous amounts of disruption and upheaval, never mind the physical and emotional harm. Riley has already treated 23 children for gunshot wounds this year, including four just since Friday. That's a mix of unintentional and intentional or violent shootings, and it's on pace to outpace last year when 41 kids came through Riley's ER with gunshots. 32 of those violent, like a drive-by or intentional shooting. The rest, accidental, like someone cleaning a gun or a child playing with a gun, and it goes off. Emotional impacts on kids who've been shot and survive can last years, even decades. You know, sometimes it comes in the form of concerns like post-traumatic stress or depression or changes in mood. And it's not just the victims. Ripple effects extend to parents, siblings, classmates, neighbors, well beyond the day a child is injured by gunfire. You know, Riley is also focused on prevention. They do provide free gun locks for families. We have information on that on WTHR.com.